23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. President Donald Trump was in Bakersfield this afternoon talking to farmers and signing a memorandum to continue to improve access to water for California's farmers, ranchers, agricultural producers, and communities in the Central Valley. More than 1,000 people were in attendance by invitation only to hear him speak. The president left Bakersfield to head to a rally in Phoenix. He is expected to stay overnight in Las Vegas tonight ahead of a graduation he will attend tomorrow. One firefighter was killed and one still remains unaccounted for following a fire at the Porterville Library yesterday. The firefighter who was killed has been identified as 35 year old fire captain Raymond Figueroa of Porterville City Fire Department. The one who still remains unaccounted for is 25 year old Patrick Jones, also with Porterville Fire. Figueroa grew up in Delano and lives in Bakersfield. Officials say two 13 year old boys have been arrested and booked on charges of arson, manslaughter and conspiracy related to the fire. The mayor of McFarland announced he was submitting his resignation. He said he's doing it so that he can spend more time with his family and possibly pursue his passion as a minister. Cantu said Mayor Pro Tem Steve McFarland will now step in as interim city mayor. And temperatures were above average today and continue to warm for your Thursday. Actually, up to 76 degrees, which is going to be the warmest day of the year so far and more than 10 degrees above average. And Holding on to those 70s for your Friday, but late Friday into the early morning hours Saturday, a system is going to be making its way on shore just two hours south in Los Angeles County, but that is going to be bringing some wraparound moisture. So tracking a 30% chance for rain here in Bakersfield, it looks like the better chance is going to be in the mountains, but we are going to be seeing significantly cooler temperatures down to 61 degrees on Saturday and rebounding right back to those seasonal 60s and back to the 70s by next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23com